Hello everyone, Bill here again. As I do every year, I do a video called Answering My Critics, and this is going to be my video, Answering My Critics for 2012. What I do, if you're new to my channel, what I do is I put together all the comments, the negative and the positive comments that I received over the year, and then I present them here in this video, and then of course I give you a little preview of what's going to be happening in the year of 2013 for us. Okay, first of all, I wanna let everyone know, of course, if it isn't kinda obvious, my countdown 2012 videos were a tremendous hit this year and the thing is is that i've had more than a few people actually check out my videos and kind of eased a lot of their concerns of 2012 because over and over again the history channel and discovery channel was bombarding us with endless end of the world disaster armageddon crap which of course conveniently now that it's after the date all of them are gone hmm i wonder why and here's kind of a funny thing. When I ran a couple of key words that had to deal with the Maya calendar, end of the world thing, I did it back in November and I was looking at some of the numbers. Then I re-looked at the numbers again a week later and actually just before I did my Christmas video, okay, uh, on Christmas Day. And the numbers went way down. A lot of people pulled their videos. So, you know, I wasn't surprised. Also, this is, um, if anyone watched my... Um, uh, Henry V and Fears of 2012. Uh, Henry, being one of the big people that was very much concerned about, you know, the end of the world in 2012. Well, Henry, this is going out to you. We made it. Okay? The world did not blow up, and we're ready to welcome in 2013. So, see, just like I told you, and of course, there were many other people that, you know, voiced, you know, their, you know, how silly it was for the end of the world, my calendar thing. And of course, I was just but yet a, a single voice in the chorus that declared that the Maya calendar end of the world thing was a complete myth. All right, now my next point is William Tapley. I actually got a lot of flack from this simply because, oh no, he's a man of God. Well, speaking from a former New Ager as I am, he keeps insisting on doing his numerology thing after I pre-warned him um, that that is probably one of the worst things you could ever do is doing numerology. And William Tapley, if you're still watching this, I still strongly recommend that you stop doing that. That is not going to lead you anywhere, and that is actually very dangerous and is not something you want to do. Okay, and I'm still waiting for your testimony, by the way. Okay, and speaking of testimony, if you are a Christian and you're watching this and you have your own videos and your video channels and everything else, I strongly recommend, once again, post your testimony here on YouTube. I mean, just simply put together... You know, write it out in a chronological order and write up your own video. Okay, I've done it. I've actually had, that I know of, um, two people that have actually come to us, come back to Christ. And one particular person who actually gave up the New Age thinking because after watching my video. So I would highly recommend all of my Christian brothers and sisters out there, if you are watching this video, okay, and you've kind of been reluctant to put up your testimony on your YouTube channel, I strongly recommend that you do. And really put some thought into it. I mean, uh, use props if you have to, if you want to. But I really recommend all of my Christian brothers and sisters, if you have an active ministry channel on YouTube, post your testimony. All right, now, one thing, I've mentioned this before, and I will mention it again. Look, if anybody puts an extreme negative comment and uses swear words and things like that, you will not, your comment will instantly be deleted and you will be blocked from my channel. Look, I run a very good, clean, morally correct channel here. I will not allow such language on my channel. So once again, if you do this, you, your comment will be deleted and, uh, and you will be blocked from my channel. Now, one of the things that I got negative is that a lot of people were complaining about how cheap and basic my videos are. Well, I'm going to answer the reason why I don't get really high tech, although I do want to get that way, but I don't want to go over the top with it. It's because of this. So I'm going to answer your question by giving a, um, a, a speech of, comm of commencement or uh, commend somebody for their work. My hat's off to you, Snarky. Um, for those who do not know, um, I subscribe to and I have commented on the Snarky Apologist. He has a YouTube channel here. He's a dear brother in Christ, and I take my hat off for you. 
he did a video a couple of uh, months back and he commented that you know he went on a second honeymoon with his wife and he really the lord really showed him that look your wife and family is more important than making hundreds of videos a year so what he has did and he posts this video and he's going on hiatus look up for it i'll put the name of his channel here and go take a look he still is making uh, good quality videos but things is that he has severely cut that back because he has turned his attention as it should be to his wife and family and i say god bless you snarky apologist keep fighting the good fight my brother now getting back to people commenting on how cheap my videos are okay here's why because of what the point i just made I, yes, I could get the software. Matter of fact, I have it here. I'm still playing with it to make sure it looks right. Okay, but the thing is, is that, look, I simply do not have the time nor the energy. I have far more important things to do in my Christian walk, far more important things to do in my life than to make these super high, high quality uh, internet or YouTube videos as so many people, both non-christians and christians because it's just like i look at some of these and it's like watching a movie i'm like look if you can do this video why don't you like go to hollywood or something and you know get a job in some kind of editing thing because i mean i look at some of these videos and I'm like wow and i know it takes a lot of time and energy to produce these videos of which yes i could devote quite a bit of time to do that but that's really not something i want to do now, getting back to, gee, how quality it is. Yes, I might up my video quality here. I might go a little higher than what it is now. But part of the things is that I could bang one of these out in 10 minutes. I do a lot of other side work that's off camera. Okay, uh, but really, that's the whole idea. It's like I just drop this information. You, the watcher, can pick up this information and you on your own. When you are ready, when you have the time, pick up this information cross-reference, check out my information that I dump, and then you can make the decision in your mind. I'm not here to entertain. I'm here to educate. There's a difference. Okay? And as for the quality of my videos, if I may just... So um, what was very popular, again, with the 2012 thing, there's a guy by the name of N times 23. Okay? You complain about how, how generic and cheap my videos are. This guy is sitting around here in this big big 70s chair with this microphone okay that is literally from the 70s with an alien gray plastic head bust in the back behind him and I'm like and he's just still expounding on Nuburu which of course there is no Nuburu and it's just like you're complaining to me about my videos do you see me sitting in a big comfy chair with a with a 70s mic speaking into it no I have an omnidirectional mic on my camera Okay, my videos have gone up quite a bit since I've been on since I started making videos in 2009. Really, you're criticizing me about how cheap my videos are. So again, the part of the reason why I really don't go high end again, getting back to my commending snarky apologists. That is why I have more time to do other things. I do need to do other things rather than making these super Hollywood grade. Uh, YouTube videos. Would I like to do that? Yes. Okay. My thing is I focus my attention on other projects. I have other ministries other than here on YouTube. All right. Now, I do have several videos set up for 2013. Okay. I'm actually going to do quite a number of series that kind of goes through the whole year. Okay. They will not be timely consistent like I did with the 2012 videos, but hey, what I'm hoping to do is do these videos and then again, further bless my Christian brothers and sisters and maybe send out some messages to ministers in the future. So 2012 has been a good year, and I hope to see you all in 2013. Thank you and have a happy new year.